Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We are gathered here today, surrounded by the beauty of creation and nurtured by the sights and sounds of nature to celebrate the wedding of Katie and Connor. Kat, by now you've probably recognized that I get a little sentimental around the close of big chapters in our lives. Whether it's graduating college or moving apartments, you'll probably count, catch me counting our lasts. The last long plane ride to visit each other during college, the last time we'll wrestle our dogs into a bath in our tiny apartment shower, and now these are the last few minutes before I get to marry my best friend. Con, in you I have found everything that I could have ever dreamed of in a husband. Someone who is kind and thoughtful, both handsome and humble, funny and smart, creative and adventurous, loyal and strong. As I stand here today, I know I'm the luckiest girl in the world because I get to because so, I get to be with you for the rest of my life. Nine years ago, we met on a high school music trip to New York City. I remember you running up behind me and giving me this giant hug, not because you liked me, uh, but because we were playing a game and you just happened to draw my name. I didn't know it then, but that would be the start of our forever story. From the moment I met you, I was astounded and enamored by your unwavering kindness and compassion. Back then, I was grateful for any minute I could spend around you. And as our relationship blossomed and grew, and minutes turned into hours, days, weeks, and years, I fell completely in love with you. And I knew I had found the person I wanted to journey through life with. We became good friends after that and started dating a year later and haven't looked back since. From navigating a long distance relationship in college to starting our professional careers together, to becoming dog parents to Kona and Milo, to you surprising me on a trip to my favorite place in the world and asking me to marry you, to standing with you here today, I wouldn't change a thing. You have the biggest heart of anyone I've ever known and you make me feel like the most beautiful girl in the world even when I just rolled out of bed or finished up a workout. You always know what to say when I'm really stressed out or just had a bad day. You see me for me and love me at my best and my worst. I promise to always love and respect you. I promise to support all of your dreams and to push you to be the best version of you. You are the most beautiful soul I have ever met. You are strong, fearless, and passionate, but gentle, caring, and thoughtful. I'm so blessed to be a part of your life and to have you in mine. I can't promise that I'll get everything right in our life together, but I do promise to do everything I possibly can to give you the life you've dreamed of. I promise to love you fiercely, to make you laugh until your sides hurt, to support you as you pursue your dreams, and to build a beautiful life with you. I love you, Katie, until the end of time, and after that too. I promise to celebrate all of life's joys with you, and to be a source of comfort for all of the lows. I promise to try and stay awake to watch just one more episode with you after a long work day. And I promise to always finish a bottle of wine or two with you over dinner. I promise to also listen and hear what you have to say, even when we know I'm right. <laughs> and I promise to always be honest with you, even when the truth is hard. I, found, I promise to face new decisions as a team. We always talk about how time is the most special gift you can give someone because you can never get more of it. I want to spend my days with you. I want to love you for all of the time you're blessed with. I want to start and end each day with you by my side. I want to share all of life's beautiful moments with you and build a beautiful family together. I give you my whole heart forever and always. Connor, as I'm sure you know, Katie can be like a little bit stubborn. Um, I've spent over 20 years with her and I still don't know how to change her mind. <laughs> but I can tell you two things that I know to be absolutely true. First, the love between you two is what we should all aspire to have. Your commitment to each other and determination to work through things is inspiring. You guys made four years of long distance work in college, which is an incredible feat. And through, up, through every up and down, the love between you two has always been a constant. 
Secondly, waking up every day next to your best friend is so much more important than the person who makes you weak in the knees. Your partner should help you feel calm and grounded. In between the two of you, that feeling is so strong that everyone around you can feel it too. It's really infectious. A wise man once told me, there is not a finite amount of love. He's sitting right over there. <laughs> I think that's true of Connor and Katie's relationship. Um, marriage isn't going to be easy. There's going to be some tough times. I can't do it for you. I have the utmost faith in you guys. Love you guys. Congratulations. And here's the comment.